being a leper, at which point an Indian walking by casually said to her, I wouldn't do that for all the money in the world. And she replied, I wouldn't either. I am doing it for the love of Christ. Oh, please. And, oh. and the point I'm trying to get at here is, Yuck. I can see him champing at the bit, and, I, and I, b- before, before I turn it over to you, I want to give an explanation for why he's champing at the bit. Religion makes moral demands on us, and Christianity asks that we move outside of ourselves and consider first the welfare of the other person. Now, this is ultimately a little bit of an annoying and an irritating and a difficult doctrine. Even Augustine prayed, make me chaste, O Lord, but not yet. The Christian feels this too. The atheist, I want to suggest, is chafing under the moral rules of Christianity. That's the concentration camp he's talking about. Ultimately, he realizes that a life lived according to the Ten Commandments is a life in which we are accountable. We all live in a world where bad guys sometimes make off with the money, where good guys come to grief. It's not fair. What goes around doesn't come around. But religion says that at the end of the day, what goes around does come around. There is a last judgment. There is an ultimate accountability. I would suggest that as human beings, we chafe under that. We hate the idea that our actions are ultimately accountable, that even the things that we do in private and in the dark are under scrutiny and are being recorded. Atheism is a massive rebellion against that, but it disguises itself as moving along the strict pathways of reason. It's not an intellectual revolt, it's a moral revolt. Could we have been, we have been going at this for over 90 minutes now and it's time to sadly cut it off. Three concluding notes. First, if you have information cards for King's College or love notes for Christopher or Dinesh, uh, please give them to an usher as you're leaving. Secondly, Dinesh here will be signing copies of his new book. And third, thank all of you for coming and Please join me in thanking our two debaters. What's so 